Okay, since Holly couldn't be here, this is the very, uh, uh, hmm, I don't know, place you don't want to be. It's the uh, car wash where the officer got shot in uh, broad daylight, the retired lieutenant. Okay, so his car was here at the car wash in Sitco, and the guys jumped out of their BMW, and one jumped into his car, and uh, other guy jumped out and shot the officer. So you don't pick up the blood trail until over here, but over here there's some serious blood and blood matter. So let me show you what we found. Um, well, like right there, that's like some serious blood and there's even a little blood matter in there. And then there's just a trail of blood. As my photographer Brian Hopkins says, you can basically see his heart beating. Boom, heartbeat, boom, heartbeat, boom. All the while, the cashier is right there. And then here goes the trail of blood. We don't know what, you know, was he, was he chasing after the guys in the car? Maybe. There's Richard Chamberlain, our live truck operator. And there's the awesome photographer, Brian Hopkins, who did a great job on this story today. We were kept back behind the police tape all day, and the eyewitnesses were all right in here. And Brian managed to get a note inside this police line to one of the eyewitnesses to call us. And he's the one who told us everything that happened. And um, show how far this blood is. Let me show you this right into our truck. That's some serious blood right there. Here's Richard Chamberlain, ladies and gentlemen, keeping us live and on the air. Thank you, Richard. And uh, then just lastly, come over here so you can meet uh, Brian Hopkins, amazing photographer. Okay, Brian, this is for my intern who couldn't be here today. So, this is my intern, Holly, who couldn't be here today. Hi, intern. But it, it was amazing. So tell me how you got the idea to get the note into the guy inside the crime scene. You told me before, but tell me again. Uh, uh, just the fact that uh, there was one time in the past where... Should I go into real detail? or Not too much, but yes. Right. Uh, there was a big story on uh, River big, Road. A big story River Road where flood. a lady said, call my husband, let him know I'm stuck, but I'm safe. She was trapped. She was trapped, and she held up a sign to the media. And uh, one of our reporters saw the you number on the paper and actually called the um, called, called that number. And, uh, I'm the, doing the interview now. Yeah. Uh, one, of, one of the reporters called, one of our reporters called that number and made a connection and so I saw the guy sitting over here in the, in the car, and I gave my business. Well, first he's like, Rebecca, yell at that guy and see if he'll call us. And the place was swarming with detectives and police officers. I didn't want to yell and, like, look like a doofus. But Brian, always on the hunt for a story, was like, well, let me get a note from him. And so he asked an officer, and he asked one of the police here, and I didn't think they would do it. And he did it. Yep. So he gave the guy, and the next thing you know, Brian's phone rings. I have a new friend. The officer, not the guy. And, uh... Both. Both of oh, yeah. our friends. Because he was an eyewitness. He saw everything. He told us everything. And uh, so we did our job today. Bam, bam. There you go. We hope the best for the lieutenant. And uh, hope they catch those guys. Thanks, Thanks Richard. Thanks, Rich.